Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the winter edition of my cozy drinks recipe videos. I am so excited for today's video. Also, please disregard the OOTD. I have a very, very wrinkly t-shirt on and some straight up oversized sweatpants. But let's talk about the baby bump. I am just about nine and a half months pregnant at this point and your girl is living the cozy life. Hence why I wanted to share some cozy drink recipes. I'm going to make this intro super short because standing up for a really long time is very uncomfortable, but I have five or six recipes in today's video. And if you are interested in any of them, just check out the description. I will link all the recipes and I will link all the ingredients that you will need to recreate these drinks at home. We have all of the nice cozy winter flavors from eggnog to peppermint to chocolate to gingerbread and so, so much more so again if you guys are interested in trying out any of these recipes for yourself just check out the description I'll have all the information down there below I really appreciate you guys watching today's video and without further ado let's just get right on into it we have to start this video off with the most iconic winter drink that there ever was the peppermint hot cocoa this first step that i took is optional but definitely recommended will take your drink to the next level melt down some chocolate and just take whatever mug or glass you plan on using and gently dip it into the chocolate so you get a nice chocolate rim then we're going to move on to making the hot cocoa again i will link all the measurements and all the ingredients in the description below it's a pretty straightforward recipe you need some milk some heavy cream a little bit of salt like a very tiny little dash of salt the salt will actually bring out the chocolate flavor a little bit more you need some peppermint extract peppermint extract is very aggressive so please please read the description or check out the recipe because if you add too much it is just very aggressive all you need for this is just an eighth of a teaspoon be very very cautious with this you also need some vanilla extract I believe that is it you want to add in of course your chocolate chips that's what I forgot and then you just want to mix it all together until it is nice and smooth pour it into your glass that has the hardened chocolate rim and then top with some whipped cream and you can add a little bit of festive sprinkles to make it more holiday-esque or just to make it a little bit more fun this hot cocoa is so good it is like drinking in a glass of Christmas morning. It just truly transports you to a very, very happy place. This next recipe, the cereal milk latte, was so much fun to create. I kind of took inspiration from a couple of different places. The first place being, of course, Milk Bar. If you've never been to Milk Bar before, they make this epic cereal milk soft serve. It is so decadent and so delicious. And that's where I got most of my inspiration for, for this little recipe. I don't really have any measurements because I kind of just created it on the fly. I steamed up some milk, but as I was steaming it, I added in some cinnamon toast crunch. I was steeping the cinnamon toast crunch into the milk as I was warming it up and steaming it. Then I poured out the milk into a glass to remove all of that soggy cereal because soggy cereal is just not a mood. And then I split the milk into two different cups you can definitely make more than one latte using this and I just frothed it up using my frother this is my favorite kitchen tool of ever and I will link it in the description below to assemble your latte you just want to take some strongly brewed coffee or some espresso and then you want to pour the milk on top of it and make sure you add in that foam that foam is just chef's kiss and then again because we're being super extra in this video you can top it off with some whipped cream and add some more of that cereal you can use pretty much whatever cereal you want i chose cinnamon toast crunch but i can see this being delicious with pretty much any cereal of your choice and there you have it your very own cereal milk latte honestly y'all Honestly, 
This is so good and I am not even a hot coffee drinker. I don't prefer hot coffee. I like iced coffee over hot coffee and this was good. There are not enough words in the English dictionary to express just how much I love this next latte. This next latte is the gingerbread latte and you want to start off with making the gingerbread syrup. You can make a larger batch of this and just keep it in the fridge and have it for future use. I don't exactly remember every single ingredient so again check the description but you're going to need some water, some brown sugar, some white sugar, some molasses, some spices, and maybe one or two other things. You wanna put it on top of the stove top and you just wanna whisk it until everything is incorporated and you don't feel any of those granules anymore. Once the syrup is done, you can place it into a container and put it in the fridge to chill. At this point, I started to make my sweet cream foam. There are so many different ways to make this. I do a very weird mixture of oat milk, regular milk, and heavy cream. And then to that I added some of the gingerbread syrup and I just frothed it together. And then I got started with the latte. You can choose to use a strongly brewed coffee that has been cooled down, a blonde roast, a cold brew, an espresso. I chose to use a blonde roast for this because it's very, very smooth. I added it into a shake with some ice and about one and a half teaspoons of that gingerbread syrup and I just shook it all together. Look at this. Mm, so good. It's so good. Like yum. Place that in a glass with some ice and then I topped it off with my sweet cream foam that has been enhanced with some gingerbread flavors. Last but not least, I just sprinkled on a little dash of cinnamon, and here she is. Oh, I'm gonna make this probably five times a week for the entire winter season. It tastes like a gingerbread cookie, but not just any gingerbread cookie. It tastes like a homemade gingerbread cookie straight out of the oven. I can't with this recipe. I am obsessed and I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. It is hands down one of my favorite seasonal lattes I've ever made. If you're anything like me and you hate eggnog, wait, don't skip over this recipe because there is no one on earth that hates eggnog more than this girl right here. And I will tell you that I will drink this latte over and over and over and over and over again. To make this chai tea latte, you just want to heat up four ounces of water. I just use my Keurig. And then you want to pretty much use the rule of four for this recipe. You want four ounces of eggnog, four ounces of whole fat milk. And you also want to add in a dash of nutmeg to again enhance the flavor. You want to add that on top of the stovetop and you just want to mix it together until tiny little bubbles appear in your milk eggnog mixture. Once you start to see a little bit of bubbling going on, you know that the milk is ready and you know that you can take it off of the stove at that point. Once the chai tea bag has been properly steeped, take the bag out and pour in your warmed up milk, eggnog, and nutmeg. This last step is optional, but again, recommended. I did pour this into another mug. Don't ask me why. I just thought that it would look prettier this way. This step is optional, but again, recommended. If you have a frother, try to froth your latte. It'll just make it a lot creamier and a little thicker. And it just makes it taste a lot better, in my personal opinion. It gives off the effect that you are getting this at a cafe rather than making it at home. So this is the final product. I'm a little sad with the lighting because the lighting is not doing justice to just how beautiful this latte really is in real life. So my apologies on the super bright lighting. But yes, run, don't walk, go get yourself some eggnog, make yourself this latte, and thank me later.
This next recipe, the Santa's Milk and Cookies drink, definitely is for the kids or for the kids at heart. It is a whipped hot chocolate. Let's say that one more time. A whipped hot chocolate. To make the whipped hot chocolate, you just need a hot chocolate packet, you need some heavy cream, you need some powdered sugar, and you need a blender. Blend it all together, mix it until it becomes frothy. This is kind of like a kid's take on the, I'm gonna say it wrong, Dalgona, Daglona, however you pronounce that coffee that kind of like broke the internet last year during quarantine. This is like the kid's take on it. It is whipped hot chocolate. You could just eat this with a spoon. Like bottle this up and take it to the bank. It is that good. Make sure you whip it until all of the tiny little granules are gone and you have a smooth consistency. And then you just want to take a cup, fill it with some ice, pour in some milk and top it with your whipped hot chocolate. Again, one more time for the people in the back. Whipped hot chocolate. I wanted to take this one step further and I just broke apart some cookies because again, this is Santa's milk and cookies drink. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, so beautiful, so tasty, so beautiful, so Instagram worthy, so perfection. I know that's terrible grammar, but this is such perfection. If you end up trying this out with your little ones, let me know how they liked it. I think that they will love it. And I also think that you will love it as well. And last, but definitely not least, the brown sugar tea milk. If you are a fan of bubble tea, I think you're going to be a fan of this recipe. There are so many different ways to make this tea from completely homemade, where you make your own homemade tapioca bubble tea pearls, all the way to the easier route that I took, just purchasing the pre-made boba pearls online. I got mine from Amazon and I will link them in the description below. They were super easy to use. For every 10 cups of water, you do one cup of the tapioca boba pearls, and then you allow it to just heat up for about five minutes. Strain them, take them off of the stove, and move on to the brown sugar portion of this recipe. There are so many, again, so many different ways of going about this. I found so many different recipes online. The one that I decided to try was one fourth cup of water for every half cup of brown sugar, and then you add in about a half cup of the boba pearls, and you want to just make sure that that water is evaporating out, so once it starts to bubble, you can put it on low, take it off the heat, and then it'll start to get thicker. And now for the fun part, assembling your brown sugar tea milk. For this, you're going to need a taller glass and you wanna take a couple of spoonfuls of that thickened boba pearl brown sugar situation and just scoop it right into the bottom of the glass. From there, you can rotate your glass until you do a 360 to get some of that sugary syrup all over the glass. It just makes it look really pretty in the end. And then you can add in ice all the way to the top of your glass. Finally, you want to go in with a milk of your choice. Make sure that the milk is very, very cold. You want an extra cold milk for this. And there you have it. You can definitely enhance this by taking your boba pearl straw and kind of like moving it up and down. It will definitely distribute that brown sugar syrup a lot better. And then honestly, the world is your oyster. If you want to take like another tablespoon or so of that brown sugar syrup and pour it on top, you do you. Once you actually mix it all together, you get this beautiful, like absolutely stunning looking drink. It is such a fun and unique drink, not only for the holidays, but pretty much all year round. For me personally, when I think about the holidays, I think about baking and cooking a lot. And with that comes brown sugar. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I truly appreciate your love and support here on my channel. If you decide to try any of these out, please let me know or send me pictures on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations. And let me know in the comments below what your absolute favorite winter drink is. I love you guys so, so much. I hope that you're having a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful, beautiful, festive start to your holiday season. Love you and talk to you soon. Bye, friends.